Hello everyone, welcome to my lovely yarn channel. Today I will show you how to crochet mitten for kids about uh, 1 to 4 years old. Write it. About material, I use red hat baby hat tea, right? Pink color and white color. For start, for beginning, we start with calf. Chain 10 Chain 10 time I did After that you do strip stays all the way to beginning. You slip stays nine pose or nine chain like it, slip stitch like it all the way to beginning. Then chain one, turn your work like it. Next step, you have to do slip stitch only back loop only like it. See? You slip stitch only back loop. Write it all the way down. Continue to write it until you you message about uh, four and a half inches or eleven just eleven and five five centimeters like this. Okay, then you got calf right. After that, about first row. Chain together like it. You have to change color yarn to color B or white color like it. And then chain one. And then you have to do single crochet all the way down. Mean you have to do single crochet 18 times. You have you have to put your hook into the uh, post like this. Then you will got a single crochet 18 times. Write it. Mm -hmm. 
and tie together. So first, second, form, second rows to first rows. You have to do hurling bone half the bow crochet in a stick allowed. Continue do like this until you finish first row. Do herring bone have the bow crochet like it until you finish both laws. After you finish four slots, you got like this, and then for fifth slots, chain one, and then do hurling bone half the bow crochet in eight stitch. In neck eight stitch, do hurling bone half the bow crochet in neck eight stitch. So next stitch, you have to do two hurling bone half the bow crochet. That means you have to do hurling bone half the bow crochet two times in the same stitch like this. Like this. And next one, you do two hurling bone half the bow crochet in the same stitch again. For the next stitch like this. After that, you have the bow crochet. Do herring bone have the bow crochet in a stitch. Or do to the beginning like this. It's stitch like this. So next row. Chain one and do hurling bone half the bow crochet in neck eight stitch. Then do two hurling bone half the bow crochet in the next stitch like this. 
two hurling won't have the ball crochet in the same state like this and then do hurling won't have the ball crochet in next two states Hailing bone have the ball crochet in next two stitches like this and next stitch do two hailing hailing bone have the ball crochet in the same stitch like this then. Do hurling bone have the ball crochet in neck as this? Then join together. So next row, chain one. And then do hurling bone have the ball crochet in neck eight stitch. After that, do two hailing bone have the ball crochet in the same stitch, and then do hailing bone have the ball crochet in next four stitches. Then do two hailing bone half the ball crochet in the same stitch like this. After that, you do hailing bone in a stitch until to beginning until to the end row. Then join together. Next row, you chain one, and then do hurling bone half the ball crochet in next nine stitches. Hailing bone half the ball crochet in neck nine stitches. Then after that, chain two, then skip stitch. Then you have to skip six stitches like it and work on seven stitches like it. Skip six stitches like this, and then work on seven stitches like this. Okay. Then do hailing bone half the ball crochet all the way around to beginning. Then join together. Next row, chain one, 
and then do hurling bon half the ball which is in next nine stitch. And then do hurling bon half the ball which is in next two chain like this. See two chain in here right then you do hailing bone half the book which is on them like this one chain and next chain like this And then do hurling bone half the ball crochet in a state to edge of bra. Then join together. Then for ten row, you do hurling bone half the ball crochet in a stitch all round like this. Then join together and repeat like this until you miss it, miss until you miss it, four the five or four and a half centimeter. Like this, repeat the same thing until you miss until your work uh, measure four. At four and a half centimeter like this. So after that, chain one and do hurling one half the bow crochet in neck T this. And then this still like it. Then you do hurling bone, half the bow crochet. Do two hurling bone, half the bow crochet together. Oh, sorry. Do half the bow crochet. Do two half the bow crochet together like it. Half the bow crochet. I did right and then you do herring bone half the bow crochet in neck teeth this one two three I did and then you do two half the bow crochet together Like it, half the bow, two half the bow crochet together like it. Repeat like it until to the beginning. Uh, 
a lingon have the bow crochet t t stitch and then do half the bow crochet together repeat like this until to the beginning then join together like this next row chain one and then do holding bone half the bow crochet in next two stitches one and two then do two half the bow crochet together write it and next one hurling bone half the bow crochet in neck two stitches next one do half the bow crochet two stitch together like this repeat like this all the way along to beginning Then join together with slip stitch like this. Next row, chain one, and then do half the bow crochet two stitch together. Like this. Do two half the bow crochet together like this. All the way around. Repeat like this all the way around to the beginning. Then join together with slip stitch. this next one in the last row you do chain one and do single crochet two stitch together like this repeat like this all the way around to the beginning then join with slip stitch This area is very tight, tiny, like this, and cut off yarn. That means you're done for finger. In the top, go up like this and cut your yarn. And you got like this. Next step, we will work on the thumb. Now we will work on the thumb. We have to join on with this area. You, you can change color yarn this time or you will continue to do the same color in this area join yarn then chain one and then do and then work on hurling bone half the bow crochet in the edge stitch
enjoy together with sleep states. Like this. For second row, do the same thing. Hurling bone have the bow crochet in neck edge stitch all the way around to the, to the beginning. Like this. Repeat, repeat until your work get message. Message allow one and half inches. Repeat like this until your work got message. Message allow one and half inches. Awful. Sentiment. It, then your work uh, got a measure allow one and a half inset if you got like this right after that you do half the bow crochet two half the bow crochet together like this repeat Two half the bow crochet together all the way around to the beginning. Then join together with slip stitch. After that, last row, you do two single crochet together. Mean single crochet to stitch together like this. Repeat like this all the way around to the beginning. Then join together with slip stitch. Then cut off your yarn. Like it. At your finish, your mission. If you got like this after you work finish. So next step, we will do. We will work on uh, bunny ears. It's bunny ears. We will work about this. Okay. So we start with pink color yarn, but change your 
four che hook two two dot seventy five millimeter and then chain six chain six like it then do single crochet in neck two stitch in neck two chain like this single crochet in neck two chains like this and after that do half double crochet in neck two chains After that, do four double crochet in the same stitch. Do four double crochet in the last stitch like it. One and then two and three. And four. I did. After that, do half the bow crochet in neck two stitches. Half the bow crochet in neck two stitches. I did. The and next step, do single crochet. Neck two stitch, then join together with slip stitch like it. Chain one, and then chain yarn to color B. Join yarn with color B, or white color. Yeah, join yarn with white color or color B like it. Chain one like it. And then do single crochet in neck four stitches. Single crochet in neck four stitches. And then do two single crochet in the same stitch. Two single crochet in the same stitch. Right it. And then do two single crochet in the next three stitches. Like this. Two single crochet. In the next three stitches. Like this. After that. Do single crochet five stitches. Next five stitches. Then join together with slip stitch. Then cut off your yarn and cut bunny ear like this. Have to do like this two piece. Then you sewing in your mitten. 
you cut a bunny ear like this do the same thing two piece like this and after that you seal bunny ear on your mitten like this mitten like this and then seal your eyes or if you have a button eyes and you use a hot glue gun put hot glue and put like this do nose and like this If you love my channel, you can support me on the Patreon and you can get free writing pattern for crochet mitten like this. So thank you so much. See you next time. Bye.